Hey, welcome back. Today we're in Exodus 21, verses 22 through 25. I'll read it and then we'll talk about it. If men struggle with each other and strike a woman with child so that she gives birth prematurely, yet there is no injury, he shall surely be fined as the woman's husband shall demand of him, and he shall pay as the judges decide. But if there is any further injury, then you shall appoint as a penalty life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, bruise for bruise. So today and tomorrow we're going to talk about the uh, lex talionis, the law of the tooth for the tooth. And there's a lot of misunderstanding of this, and hopefully after these two days you'll have a totally different picture of it than you probably have. Maybe you don't. So notice right here what we have in the first case. Men are, verse 22, men are struggling, a woman is pregnant, and there's a, the, the child survives, you know, everybody survives, then he can be fine, because you shouldn't be fighting near a pregnant woman. Keep that in mind, everybody. Don't get into a fight near a pregnant person. Does that make sense? Um, but now notice, if there's, verse 23, if there's any further injury, then you shall appoint as a penalty life for life. Did you read that? Life for life. In other words, the unborn child is a life. It's not, it's not just a, a, a puddle of nerve ganglia that's not a person. It's, it's considered to be a life. This is like life for life. This is like if you kill somebody, you'd be killed. So basically, this is saying that the unborn child, abortion would be basically murder on this, on this understanding. So again, it's lifting the value of human life. So again, in the different laws out there that you'll find, if it has to do with property, you might be fined, but this is something you can't just buy your way out of. If it's life for life, then you could be, you know, kind of the Bill Gates of your age or whoever the rich person is. You might be the rich person of your age, but you can't say, well, look, I'll just pay a really high penalty and the person's still dead. That's not, that's not the way it works. It's life for life here. Uh, God is not going to allow any, any rich person to buy their way out of a murder charge. So this is part of this general approach to permanent injury or even death, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And I know I'm going to throw every now and then, I'm going to throw a comment to you from one of these commentaries. Here is the, uh, the Stewart a note from Stewart in the Stewart commentary from page 493 of his commentary. Talion laws are easily misunderstood if taken literalistically. They usually do not mean what they sound like they are saying to the modern ear. No evidence exists that any judges in the ancient world ever actually required a literal application of the Talion law beyond the first of its terms, life for life. Expressions like eye for an eye were understood idiomatically to mean a penalty that hurts the person who ruins someone else's eyes as much as it would hurt if his own eyes were actually ruined also. So... So in other words, what he's saying is that, yes, there are cases where you take somebody's life, then you have, to, you have to die. There are cases like that, and that was carried out. But beyond that, where it says eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, uh, you know, bruising for bruising, we all we really don't have any case, any evidence that that was ever applied in such a literalistic way. You knocked out his tooth, come over here, we're going to hold you down and knock your tooth out. Uh, we don't have any evidence that was ever done that way. Instead, and we'll see it tomorrow as we kind of do the second part of this in verses 26 and 27. Instead, we're going to see that uh, it works out differently. I, I won't spill the beans for tomorrow. You get them tomorrow. You get your, be get your beans tomorrow. But anyway, basically, the eye for an eye thing is, is almost mostly an idiom. It's basically saying, you know, you're going you're gonna to pay a, an equivalent cost and that's left to the judges to determine what that would be. It does not mean that literalistically, you cut off his arm at the elbow and you get your arm cut off at the elbow. It's probably not carried out that way. We don't have any evidence historically that it was. Life for life, yes, but in other less than that case terms, no. So it's actually a very reasonable law. It's just simply saying that you will pay an appropriate price, a proportionate price uh, for your crime if you are guilty of the crime. So we'll say more tomorrow morning in the next couple of verses. We'll uh, get an actual case for it then. Anyway, we'll let you go and see you tomorrow morning.